Shalom. Shalom, everybody. Sons of the living God. Blessed, precious people of Yahweh. This is your brother. This is your host. Your friend. Joe Kennedy is my name. The voice of thunders. Precious says, by the special grace of God, I have a message to the body of Christ. I have a message to the governments of the world. I have a message to the governors of this world, the princes of this world. Precious sins, the Lord reveals to redeem. So every time the Lord communicates to his holy prophet, he communicates the intelligence of Zion with the intent to redeem as many as would are there to the clarion call of God. I have been in prayers and it was not in my attention but it came to my attention while meditating just thinking broadly and widely allowing the overriding powers of the living logos to override my conscience. And there it was, bam. I was caught up in the realms and lo and behold, I was shown things pertaining the upcoming next week, upcoming April 8th solar eclipse. 2024. As so many people have been asking a lot of questions, I've been receiving calls from Japan, I've been receiving calls from Australia, calls from Europe, calls from within the borders of Africa, asking the inquiring of the Lord, asking the prophet of Yahweh, the voice of thunders, the prophetic mystic rabbi, that what is the Lord saying concerning the upcoming April 8th total solar eclipse? Now, I have sought intelligence from the Lord and I have the following to bring. Number one, we need to understand in biblical analogy, what a solar eclipse is. A solar eclipse is the turning of the sun into darkness. The solar eclipse is the veiling of the sun by the garment of darkness. There is a heavenly garment of darkness that once in a while after a couple of years, the sun must be veiled. Just like a bride is veiled on her face during her wedding. And so this is the moment when the sun, S-U-N, is veiled with a veil of darkness. And that darkness spreads all over the earth. In some parts it's partial. In some parts of the world is total darkness. Now hear me as I hear the Lord. This is a black swan prophecy. Somebody may ask me, prophet of Yahweh, prophetic mystic rabbi, what is a black swan prophecy? A black swan prophecy is an unpredictable event 
unpredictable event, an unpredictable event, an unpredictable event that can't be fathomed by human intelligence, that is beyond what is normally expected of a situation and has potentially severe consequences. Hitting or rather that will hit the earth. So hear me as I hear the Lord. So Genesis chapter 1 will be our reference point. Genesis chapter 1 verse number 14. Remember in Genesis chapter 1, the story account of creation. Light. Light came to be, or rather light was revealed on the first day. The Bible says in Genesis 1, verse 1, trickling to verse number 5. It says, in the beginning, God, Elohim, created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of Adonai was hovering, brooding, vibrating upon the face of the waters. Then Elohim said, let there be light. And there was light. And Elohim saw the light that it was good. So light is good. And Elohim divided, he separated, he sanctified the light from the darkness. And Elohim called the light day. And the darkness called he night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Precious saints, I repeat, solar eclipse in prophetic Bible language is the turning of sun into darkness. And in the account of creation, darkness had covered, darkness had veiled the face of the deep. The deep was veiled with darkness. The sun, in the case of solar eclipse, will be veiled with darkness. Unless divine intelligence is disfared, man will continue living in fear. And there's a lot of foolishness going out there in the name of fear coming. There is nothing to be afraid of if you are in Christ. There is nothing to be afraid of. If you are grounded in Christos, what is there to fear? <laughs> Stay put. But there is another light. There is another light that was created. On the fourth day, another light. We read verse 14 of Genesis 1. The Bible says, Then Elohim said, Let there be lights. Lights. This is now, is it, right now, the Bible is speaking in plurality. Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens, the firmament of the heavens, to divide the day and the night and let them be for signs the lights in the firmament what is the firmament the firmament is the visible expanse of the heavens that which you call in geography sky so the lights in the sky the bible says the lord said let them be for signs Underline that. Let them be for signs and seasons 
days and years. <laughs> and let them be for lights in the firmaments of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. Then God made two great lights. One greater light to rule the day. The one that he created to rule the day is called the sun, S-U-N. And the lesser light to rule the night is called the moon. So the sun is the lord of the solar eclipse. The moon is the lord of the lunar eclipse. The Bible says they were made to be for signs. Let them be for signs and for seasons, for days and for years. So therefore, the coming total solar eclipse on the 8th of April this year, 2024, it is a sign coming to the earth. It is a sign. It is a message being sent from the Lord. The Lord is communicating the language of divinity through heavenly constellational bodies. Only the wise shall understand what is about to strike the earth. There is a sign God is giving. Hear me. Jeremiah. Let's read Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter number 10. We are going to read Jeremiah chapter number 10. I need people to understand what is coming. Jeremiah chapter number 10. And verse number 2. Jeremiah chapter number 10, verse number 2. The Bible says, Thus says the Lord Adonai, Do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Do not be dismayed. Do not be startled. Do not be puzzled. Do not be astonished at the signs in the heavens. The Lord is addressing the body of Christ even as we await the unveiling of the solar eclipse on 8th of April 2024. That is next week. The Lord is saying, do not be astonished at the signs of the heavens. For the Gentiles and the heathens are astonished at them. So the Lord is saying, let the church be at peace. Let the body of Christ, let those who are in Christ be at peace. Do not be troubled by the signs that will appear in the heavens. The coming total solar eclipse on 8th April. It is a sign coming to strike the earth. But the Lord is saying, do not be dismayed. Do not be startled. Do not be puzzled. Do not be paranoid. Do not be astonished by the unveiling, by the appearing of the sign in the heavens, by the total solar eclipse which is a sign, an indicator, a spiritual phenomenon that is identified by science as a natural phenomenon. It has a spiritual implication on the earth, yes, but the Lord is saying to the church, the Lord is saying to those who are, in, those who are founded in Christ, do not be puzzled, do not be dismayed by the sign of the solar eclipse. In the heavens. The Lord. Has spoken yet. In this regard. And he's saying. In Luke. In Luke's gospel. Chapter number 21. And I'm going to read. 
in Luke's gospel, chapter number 21, the Lord himself, Yeshua, the blessed Mashak, said something pertaining to the science of the heavens. Luke 21, verse 25, I'm going to read in the blessed name of the Lord. Yeshua said this, he says, and there will be signs in the heavens. Luke 21, verse 25, the Lord Yeshua says, and there will be signs in the sun. Kutakuwa na ishara katika jua. There will be signs in the sun. There will be signs in the moon. And there will be signs in the stars. And on the earth. Distress of nations. Perplexity of the sea. And the waves of the sea will roar. Yeshua has already said there will be signs in the sun. What is the sign in the sun? The sign in the sun is when the sun is veiled with darkness. It is a sign. It is not the end of the world. It is not doomsday. Come on. It is a sign. To the body of Christ. And only the wise in Christ shall understand. The Lord is saying, sign in the sun, that is solar eclipse. Sign in the moon, that is lunar eclipse. Sign in the stars, that is Mazaroth, the zodiac. And on the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves shall roar. But does it mean the end of the world has come? No. But something unpredictable that is unfathomable beyond the intelligence of science is about to strike the earth. It is a sign. The Lord is communicating. <laughs> Are you hearing me, child of God? There are severe recapitulations that are coming to the earth. There are certain catastrophic high level of impact on the global warming coming to strike the earth. All science, logic, astrology shall fail to predict this event says the Lord there's gonna be an apocalypse now here is the prophecy there is gonna be an apocalypse what is an apocalypse unveiling unraveling a revealing there is gonna be an apocalypse happening on May 18th hear me May 18th, that is 40 days after the solar eclipse on 8th of April. There is going to be an apocalypse, says the Spirit of the Lord Jesus. There is going to be an apocalypse, an unveiling, a unveiling. There's going to be an unveiling of a phenomenon 40 days after the 8th April solar eclipse. Hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. Church of God. Church in Christ. Church in Zion. Hear me. I'm not bothered about the church in Babylon. They are confused. An apocalypse. An unveiling. An unveiling is going to happen. 40 days. <laughs> Why am I saying this? Because in the realms of the Holy Spirit's intelligence, I've garnered this information from the Lord, the angel of Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and he has made me understand that this coming April 8th solar eclipse is a sign of Prophet Jonah in our time. It is a sign of Prophet Jonah in our time. 
the days of prophet Jonah are here with us. Church of God, Church of Christ, the days of prophet Jonah have returned. What is the sign of prophet Jonah? Three days of darkness will strike the earth in the coming solar eclipse on 8th of April. Wait for it. It's coming. In some parts of the world, it will be partial darkness. In some other parts of the world, it will be total gloom and doom. Darkness, thick, gross darkness. And in the realms of the Holy Spirit's intelligence, I see America will be highly affected than any other nation because judgment is coming to America. And Jonah gave Nineveh 40 days to repent or perish. Hear me, child of God. The boreals, the boreals starfield, hear me, the boreals, B O R E. ALS the boreals star field the boreals star field which is in many turn a reddish orange color that when you are to that that, that 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 when you are to get into your house at the solar eclipse you should lock your doors and don't come out this is a message to the americans You will only have a few hours to prepare for what is coming. Yeshua says that you should veil your windows with sheets. Even if you are already having the blinds or the black cut garbage bags taped to your windows. Yeshua says for there will be no power. There will be no power in America, in some parts of, of America. There will be no power for 72 hours, says the Lord. So store your food. This is to the America, not to everybody. Do not look out into the solar eclipse, says the Lord. Do not look out into the solar eclipse. I repeat, the whole world, do not participate into looking out into the solar eclipse or get out of your houses. Why? The Lord is saying, for when darkness shall veil the sun for a while, there is a host of demons in the veiling of darkness over the sun that will be unleashed from the pits of the underworld and shall be given a temporal season of moment to roam the earth. So 8th of April 2024 solar eclipse is not an ordinary eclipse. It's not an ordinary occurrence. It holds a significant spiritual metaphysical meaning both to Christians and to the Jews and to the Jewish tradition of Judaism. Why am I saying this? Because in Exodus 7, which I'm going to read, Exodus 7, hear me? This is a black swan prophecy. Exodus 7, I'm about to finish. Exodus 7, verse number 17. The Bible says, the Lord said to Moses, Thus says the Lord, by this you shall know that I am the Lord. Behold, I will strike the waters which are in the river Nile with the rod that is in my hand, and they shall be turned to blood. And the fish that are in the river shall die. The river shall stink, and the Egyptians will love to drink the waters of the river. 
Then the Lord spoke to Moses, said to Aaron, Take a rod and stretch out your hand over the waters of Egypt, over their streams, over their rivers, over their ponds, over their pools of water, and that they may become blood. And there shall be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in buckets of wood and in pitches of stone. Now, this solar eclipse that is coming is a sign of prophet Jonah in our day. There is a message the Lord is passing through the coming solar eclipse. To the church of God in Christ, I declare unto you, as the Lord has echoed to me, it is well with you. You have nothing to be worried. But it is gloom and doom to the world, to Babylon out there. Gloom and doom is coming. This event in Exodus 7 verse 17 holds a deeper mystical significance for believers in Christ as it provides insight into the spiritual significance of April 8th solar eclipse. And the Lord made me understand, hear me, precious saints, the Lord made me understand that the April 8th, 2024 solar eclipse that is about to come next week is actually the true Easter. We were deceived to think that Easter was rather, let me check, we were deceived. We were deceived. I have to check my calendar. We were deceived to think that Easter was on the 29th all the way to the 1st of April. That is a Babylonian fallacy lie. Easter has not yet occurred. Easter, which in itself is a Babylonian pagan festival, is yet to strike the earth. But we who are in Christ, we don't celebrate Easter. We celebrate the Passover of the Lamb. So the Passover of the Lamb is on April 8th, 2024, according to the intelligence of the Holy Spirit that I gathered. Why am I saying this? Because it is connected to what happened in Exodus 7, verse 17, all the way to 18 and 19. This verse of Exodus 7, verse 17, is a point of the story. This Exodus 7, 7, 17 is part of the story of the 10 plagues of Egypt that the Lord struck, where Yahweh sent various disasters to strike the land of Egypt, okay? And to convince Pharaoh to release the people from slavery. The coming solar eclipse is a striking judgment to Babylon to release the people of God from spiritual slavery. The Nile River, which is the source of life for the whole of Egypt, was turned into blood. And as a sign of God's power and judgment over the land. So this great event, according to the back datings, this coming solar eclipse has a spiritual significance. But the coming event has a spiritual meaning. Don't take the solar eclipse in vain. This event that happened in Exodus 7, verse 17, 18 and 19, according to the back datings of biblical history, is believed and it is said to have occurred on April 8th, 1446 BC, which is why the date holds a spiritual significance. The event of the Nile in the days of Moses turning into blood is seen as a precursor, as a forerunner to the Passover where the Israelites 
were spared from the final plague by the markings of their doors with the blood of the Lamb. I have spoken from the Lord. It is coming to pass. Shalom.